Justice Katanji Brown Jackson, she's the newest member of the court who was appointed by President Biden, wrote a, a very, very harsh and very personal dissent. She did not participate in the portion of the case that addressed Harvard because in uh, the years that Harvard's behavior was under scrutiny, she's not only a graduate of Harvard Law School, she was on the Harvard Board of uh, Overseers, their, their board of trustees. So she was actually part of Harvard management that made these decisions based on race. So obviously that would be a conflict. She didn't uh, participate. But she did argue very, very forcefully and very strongly in her dissent, the same as Justice Sotomayor. But she revealed some things about her thinking, which uh, might have upset a lot of the senators who voted to confirm her. She said, basically, the United States of America is a racist society, and the legacy of slavery has not left us, and we need to do everything possible including putting our thumb on the scale of college admissions in order to address this imbalance. Justice Katanji Brown Jackson basically believes in what's called critical race theory, which teaches that the American law enforcement and judicial system, the American legal system, American laws are racist at their core because they were written by white people for white people and interpreted by white people for white people. To me, this is hogwash. When I taught legal philosophy at Seton Hall Law School and at Brooklyn Law School, I taught a section on critical race theory because they require you to teach it. And I taught it as fairly as I could so the students can decide, is there any benefit to this or is it hogwash? It's important for students and lawyers and judges to understand this. But I have never seen a jurist on the Supreme Court of the United States argue that the United States of America is still racist to its core. That's my interpretation of what Justice Katanji Brown Jackson wrote. I thought it was inappropriate and out of place 